Hi folks, I'm back again and uh, we're going to do the same test we did yesterday except this time I'm not going to let the, uh, the white glue dry. I just made this cell here. It's got uh, graphite on one side, titanium dioxide on the other with white glue on our borax paper. And so we're just going to paint a little graphite and water on our graph foil here. And slip her separator on it. Sink plate. And our voltage is what's going on here? Right, I'm back. The meter's okay now. He got stuck. I've never seen that happen before. Alright, so we are at 91, 1, no, 99, yep, and slowly dropping. So 91, 1, slow drop, and our amps are 64. Alright, well that's way better, huh? We'll let it charge back up and be back. Alright, I'm back, and our Voltage is eighty-two, eighty-three. All right, and amps are ninety. All right, so that's looks like that's working pretty well. And and this is on the climb. So as it structures, it'll uh, it should climb on back up in voltage and amps. So this might win, might be the way to go. Okay, I'm back, and this time I think it charged back up to the 82 faster. This 82 one, you can see. it should switch to 82 two here shortly. Well, maybe not. There it is. Anyway, so I think it was a little bit faster. So we may see a, another increase in amps here. 82.2 two this time. And our amps are 97. So we did see another increase. But a smaller increase. 97. And we're at... Uh, 82.2 and it was increasing. Alright. It's gluing together pretty well. I'll show you the self charge. It's climbing up steady, but uh, it's a little slower because it's stored more energy, I'm guessing. So uh, it took uh, the last time we measured our peak at uh, uh, 128, I think, uh, no, it was at 113. We had, it took 12 cycles to get there. So hopefully this won't take that long. All right, we're back. And our voltage is back up to 82 again. 821, 822. That's the same place where we tested it last time. So well, let's see if our amps go up again. Alright, here we go. 99. A little
jiggling that time. Looks like we've about peaked. So it's going to be right around 100 milliamps. 82.2 again. So uh, now let's uh, switch and do another cell. Alright, now we're going to do something that's a little bit different. We're going to take, uh, this is just a piece of the super saturated uh, borax paper with uh, white glue on, on both sides of it. And we're going to put our graphite on a graph oil here. Like that. And then we're going to put a separator on it. And this time we're going to put titanium dioxide and water on this. And we have ninety right on the head. Oh, there it started to drop. All right. Now let's see what kind of amps we got. And. 51. Alright, that's not bad for a start. Alright, I'm back with another battery test. And what we're testing this time is a, a little thinner glue on the titanium dioxide side and we have a graphite side too, which is the same mix as it was the last time. Alright, so that time and still got pretty good amps 57 not bad for a start spot all right I'll be well let's see how it's self-charging here Ooh. and uh, not bad climbing pretty good up to 86 jumping two numbers at a time okay I'll be back Okay, we're back at a with a slow climb at uh, 92, 4, 92, 5. I'll we'll call it 92, 5. And we should see a boost in amps this time. 72. All right, we did. All right, so. 72 and uh, 92.5. I'll be back. All right, I'm back and boulders took a, a dive down to 81. I mean, it's still climbing, but it's awful slow. 
81, 2. So we'll short it right there. See what we got. And 86. So it went up again. 86 and 81, 2. Oh well, we'll try it again. I'm going to have to copy that dad over. I'll be back. Alright. We're back in a little higher voltage this time. 83.1 83.2 Well, I thought it was done climbing. 83.3 83.3 83.3 and move in up there. Eight three three and seventy one, seventy seven. It looks like we peaked. I think that was seventy seven. Takes care of that one. I think we've peaked there. I'll be back with another one. Well, I'm back um, with the results. And um, I ran a lot of tests today. And I ran numbers of, uh, of cycles on each battery that I tested. And uh, I was mostly uh, working with mixes, different mixes of graphite and glue and titanium dioxide and glue. And I, I didn't see any real strong trends in that, but a higher concentration glue uh, worked better than a lower concentration of glue. And, and that may be uh, because there's less, be less water than uh, to uh, making the film, and that would preserve the uh, solid crystal structure in the, um, in the paper. Now that's just a, a wild guess on that. But. A solid conclusion was that uh, it, the wet gel, if you uh, make the cell before your uh, glue is dry, uh, it eventually binds everything together and you end up with one of the solid state things with all the water trapped uh, in, in the uh, crystal structure. Now if you, if you dry your, your glue out and make it a, a dry gel, the main advantage to that is uh, it makes e cleaning it easy. You can take the cell apart real easy and clean the plates and, and stuff uh, with that. But I think you might get a little lower uh, voltage and amps out of it. There's probably some point along, along the drying line between a wet cell and a dry cell where the uh, voltage and amps uh, peak and uh, but I'm not sure of that, but I'll have to run some tests to see if that's true. So uh, uh, we'll see what we come up with for tomorrow. I uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.